Do I tell him about how my friend's husband wants to hook up with me and I kind of want to say yes? Disclaimer, this is not my story time. It was sent to me on Instagram. I know everyone in the comment section is going to tell me not to do it. But hear me out. I've known this friend for six months now. Let's call her Sally. Sally and I met through some mutual friends. She's just kind of boring. The only real reason we became friends is because our dogs get along. And because they got along, we decided to set up some play dates. Most of the time, I would come over to her house because she has a really big yard. So it was good for both of our dogs. FYI, I live in a small apartment, so it made sense for me to go to her house. I would go over to her house once or twice a week. But I actually didn't meet her husband until a few weeks after I started going. So like I said, my friend Sally is really boring. She always manages to take the fun out of everything. Anytime our dogs are playing, she tries to stop them from having fun. She will literally tell him to stop running in her yard where there's no one there. But here's the thing. One day her husband was finally home when I was. And as soon as we met, we were both laughing at everything we were saying. He was so funny, like the complete opposite of Sally. Let me tell you, Sally got jealous right away. In fact, she told me to stop coming over to her house. But her husband found me on Instagram. Part two is up. After Sally asked me not to come back to her house, her husband found me on Instagram. Let's call him Jerry. Like I said in part one, Jerry and I hit it off right away. We were like kindred spirits, I swear. We were not just attracted to each other, we made each other laugh. As soon as he followed me on Instagram, I DM'd him. He DM'd me right back. That's when he asked me if I wanted to go get a coffee. And of course I said yes. We ended up getting coffee the very next hour. As soon as we sat down with coffee, he started telling me exactly what he wanted. He told me that his wife is boring, which I totally agree with. Ellie's kind of pretty, but her boring personality just takes all of that right away. So I understand him. I mean, if you guys could see me. <sighs> then he told me that he was really attracted to me and that he thought we could have fun. I asked him to be more specific and he said, let's get a hotel room. I said, no, how dare you? I mean, I really did, but I was kind of cute about it. And he's like, come on, I know you want to as well. I told him that I did want to, but that he was a married man. To Sally, who was kind of like my fake friend. Then he asked me to go to his car with him so that we could speak privately. Went into his car and guess what we did? Part three is, um, oh, by the way, I forgot to mention in part one and two that I do have a boyfriend. We finally sat down in his car for some privacy. He went straight for it. He started trying to kiss me and grab at me, but of course, I put a stop to it. I mean, I am a respectable woman. I mean, maybe I did let him cop a field or two. After I got home, I really thought about it. A little background on my boyfriend and I. We've been together for two years, and honestly, he's a really good match with Sally. Not that he's boring, but he's just not very fun anymore, and the relationship has lost its spark. And to be honest, now that I think about it, I'm just not even attracted to him anymore. But I do feel bad for him, so I don't want to break up with him only for that reason. Which probably isn't the best reason, right? Anyway, Jerry keeps sending me messages asking me to hook up with him. He even made reservations at a really nice hotel. Like a really expensive hotel. The reservation is for three nights from now. I do want to say yes, but I do actually feel guilty. I mean, I don't really like Sally or anything, but I did meet her first, so my loyalty should be to her, right? I also do feel bad for my boyfriend, but I truly believe that if I told him about this, he wouldn't even care. Vote in the comments yes or no if I should do this. Wish me luck. Bye. My boyfriend confessed to me that he's attracted to guys. What should I do? Disclaimers in my story time is letting me on Instagram. My boyfriend and I have been dating for four years. Four years. As you can imagine, his confession was a shock to me. Three nights ago while we were doing the dirty, he asked me to do some stuff to his to his bum. And I didn't know what to say. Honestly, I'm not into that, so I said no. After we were done, he asked me why I didn't do it. I told him that it made me feel like it would emasculate him in front of my eyes. And that the thought of him even wanting to do that stuff was a really bad turnoff. Then he said, oh, okay. But the look on his face was weird. I asked him why he wanted that. That's when he said to me that he had been thinking about experimenting. Then he asked me what I thought about it. I told him that I really wasn't into that particular thing, but that we could try other stuff if he wanted to. He then changed the conversation and we didn't touch the topic again. But something made me keep thinking about it. So I took his phone and I started going through his search history. And guess what I found? In his search history, it said, how do I tell my girlfriend I'm attracted to guys? I nearly pooped my pants. I'm not even kidding. I ran to the toilet and pooped. I was sick to my stomach. Part two is up. After I saw his search history on his phone, I nearly pooped my pants, but luckily I made it to the toilet in time. By the way, he was napping on the couch while I was looking at his phone, so I decided to take it a step further and get on his laptop. I started looking at his search history, and that's when I found it. A link to Reddit. And it was a bunch of people talking about how they came out to their girlfriends as bi or gay. This is when I really started flipping out. Thought maybe he was going to try to tell me that he was gay or something. A little backstory on him and I. Like I said in part one, we've been together for four years. This is a really, really long time. We've talked about marriage and everything. We even went to look at engagement rings at Tiffany's. Our families love each other and I hang out with his parents all the time. And I've never, ever, ever gotten the sense that he might be attracted to guys. After I found the search history on his laptop, I woke him up from his nap. While holding his laptop, he looks at his laptop and then he looks at me. That's when he said, there's something I need to tell you. And that's when he says it. I'm attracted to guys. Part three is up. After his confession, I threw his laptop at him. Then he starts explaining himself. He said that he's only been attracted to guys for a few months and that he had been meaning to tell me, but he wasn't sure if he really was attracted or not. That's when I asked him if he was gay or just bi. He said that he thought 
he was bi because he was still attracted to me. Then I asked him if he had cheated on me with another guy. He stayed quiet for about 10 seconds and finally said no. The fact that he didn't reply right away meant to me that he was lying and I don't know what to believe anymore. But of course, he asked me not to tell anybody. But it gets worse. He asked me if we could do a three sum. Um, I said no right away. Then he told me that I was being closed off and that if I really loved him, that I need to experiment with him because otherwise he's going to go and do it on his own. Honestly, to me, this is just a threat. I don't want to do it with somebody else in the room with us and I don't want him to be bi. When we first got together, he was completely straight. So now you're telling me I have to worry about guys and girls? He keeps on insisting to do it. What should I do? Am I wrong for walking out of my five-year-old niece's birthday party and taking her present with me? I, 24 female, my niece, 5 female, and my sister-in-law, Megan, 25 female. Yesterday was my niece's birthday. My niece is my sister-in-law's firstborn. My sister-in-law is currently pregnant with her fourth child. Wait, her first one's five, though? Dang! When I received the invitation to the party, there was a note asking everyone to not forget about the mommy when shopping for birthday gifts. That my niece's birthday was also meant to celebrate the woman who carried her for nine months. Wait, wait. <laughs> I will be honest, I'm not Megan's biggest fan. I've always found her to be a large drama queen. So when I read that I was supposed to bring her a present to her daughter's birthday party, I was annoyed and knew I would be doing no such thing. For my niece's birthday, I made her a large wool hand crocheted blanket and matching teddy bear. Oh, that's so cute! When it came time to open gifts, it was Megan sitting on a chair in the center of the living room with my nieces sitting on the floor next to her. Megan opened every single present, even the ones meant for my niece. It was only after she was done, she would hand the open present to my niece. What is, what is, what is going on here? When it came time to open my present, I watched as Megan opened my gift, shoveled past the teddy bear and blanket, and proceeded to search for her gift. When Megan found no other present, she looked up and asked me if there was another present from me in the pile. I responded, no. Disappointed Megan took the blanket out of the box and proceeded to ask me questions like, where did you get such a cute blanket? And I hope you didn't break the bank with such an extravagant present. Her tone of voice came across as sincere, but the way she stared at me across the room definitely gave me a different impression. I responded to her questions by saying that I made the teddy bear and blanket myself and that it was no trouble for my little niece. Megan chuckles and asked me in front of the whole party if I had actually made the gifts. I responded, absolutely. Megan and I go back and forth in front of everyone for a minute, but Megan ends the conversation by saying I didn't actually make the gifts because I didn't collect the wool for the blanket or make the buttons on the bear myself. <laughs> what is what is she getting at? That for something to be handmade, you have to use only your hands from the start to finish, otherwise it doesn't count. After my mother-in-law pulled me aside, she was extremely upset with me for antagonizing Megan. No one in the family likes Megan, but my in-laws play nice because when they didn't, Megan and her husband moved halfway across the country. They I just recently moved back to town. After my mother-in-law thoroughly lectured me on keeping the peace, she asked me to leave the party, go buy Megan a present, and to come back when I'm ready with an apology. Instead, I left the party and took my presents with me. All day today, I've been playing telephone with my friends and relatives of Megan, all of them accusing me of ruining my niece's birthday party and telling me I'm the asshole for stealing my niece's birthday presents. My intentions for taking the present was to rewrap the gift and give it to my niece one-on-one -on -one so she could actually open a birthday present. After her mom opened the present, she put it back in the box and back on the table. She didn't actually give the gift to my niece. Story time about the craziest thing a customer did while I was working at Safeway. It was the middle of the week. I was already exhausted and halfway through my shift when this lady came through my line. She had only wanted two items, a pack of cigarettes and a bag of fried chicken from the deli. Apparently, the deli had given her a hard time, so she was already moody when she came to me. She throws her chicken on the belt and tells me she wanted me to go get some cigarettes with an attitude. I grabbed the cigarettes and rang her up. Her order ended up being about 12-ish dollars, but she didn't have enough to cover the charge. Usually, I'll mark down the order if the customer doesn't have enough money, but one, she already had been pretty bitchy to me, and two, she only had six dollars. So I told her that she only had enough for the chicken but not the cigarettes and that's when she started freaking out. She starts yelling at me in gibberish and I can barely understand a single word that she's saying but I apologize and try to finish the order. Instead, she picks up the fried chicken and throws it at me, calls me the F slur, I'm obviously gay, and then walks away. As she walks out of the store, she also slams the newspaper stand that we had in the lobby of the store, sending all of them flying everywhere. It was nothing too crazy, so I brushed it off and continued my shift. A little while later, it's almost 10 p.m., which is close to closing, and I'm even more tired and ready to go home. At the end of my shift, I would just kind of chill and sit around on my phone, but then I look up and see the same lady coming at the store. At this point, it's really only me, my manager, and two other coworkers running the store, so we're trying to hurry and finish closing everything up when she walks up to the register again. Thankfully, my manager, also gay, stepped in and took care of the situation. Apparently, she wanted the cigarettes again, but had enough money this time, so he rang her up and she was on her way 
out. Now we all thought, awesome, we can all go home soon. She'll probably be the last problem customer of the night and we're all talking in the lobby. However, we noticed that the lady was still standing at the exit. This is when she lifts up her pant leg and what happens? This lady had shit herself and let the turd purposely fall down her pants onto the floor. We were all in disbelief. My manager wasn't having it though. He walks over to her and starts yelling at her. He then hands her a plastic bag and tells her to pick her own shit up because none of us were about to. So she picks it up and leaves the store. We went to grab the mop and when we came back, we saw that she had left the bag of crap on the Coinstar machine. I'm at Asa for ruining my sister-in-law's honeymoon by exposing her racism. I'm 27, my sister-in-law is 30, and they got married last weekend. She's my long-term boyfriend's sister. They're all white and I'm Middle Eastern, and I have dark skin with raven black hair. She was looking for a photographer that didn't bankrupt her, so I suggested a friend of mine who's new in the business. She was super excited, and we set up a group chat with her, my photographer friend, and I. We talked in that group chat for a little bit, and then they started directly messaging each other. The wedding was amazing, and everything went really smoothly. I was one of the guests, and she seemed really happy. The next day, they went to their honeymoon and wondered if he could retouch some asymmetry in the flowers, but also asked if he could take me off some of the photos because I'm too dark and I ruined the color palette. Not all pictures, just the ones that she's in. I immediately texted back, are you kidding me? She didn't answer, so I took a screenshot and posted it on my Insta story tagging her. She called my boyfriend, calling her eyes out and calling me an a-hole for embarrassing her and ruining her honeymoon. My boyfriend thought it was a low blow and that I was blinded with rage, but I did it when I was calm and I don't feel like I was the a-hole here. People have been contacting her apparently asking if she really wrote it. So am I the asshole?